what's up everyone really great to see you all i hope you had a great week lots of uh busting of ass this week great great week and um feeling good in the uh in the course of my my crazy week i in 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 um in the process of training one of my amazing clients this young lady was telling me that she recently came across a book on on it's i love reading or audio i prefer audio books because i don't have time to physically read uh, and i'm really ocd i think sometimes as i'm ADD because i can't sit and focus i have to keep moving so I prefer audiobooks. But anyway, they do have one on this particular book on the the mind. Now I love things that pertain to the mind. Psychology in in particular. And uh, this this particular client was one that also likes that stuff too. So we were discussing this book she purchased and uh I told her that I would go look it up and, and investigate because it sounded really interesting. Now, the gentleman who wrote the book's name was Alex Lickerman. He's a doctor, doctor, respectfully, Dr. Alex Lickerman. And he reached, recently published a book called The Undefeated Mind. I highly encourage you to look it up. Now, the I found the audio book on iTunes. It's not Mr. Lickerman speaking. It's a. Uh, it's more of a. I don't know who it is. I think it's a computer-generated person or or uh, voice doing the interpretation of the book. But it was still extremely good. And if you are into books, definitely get the book. It's not that expensive. The audio. The audio book's a little bit more. But I want to just, I want to talk about that a little bit. And I want to, of course, tie it into fitness and, and, and nutrition, fitness, and, and all the stuff that we love talking about here. This book, this particular book was based on something he came across uh, in the, it's, it's a form of Buddhism from, it's called Nichiren Buddhism. And you if you have heard about it, you've probably seen several videos about p people talking about their interpretation of the book. But this, the the belief of the Nietzsche Ren is that we're all born with the belief that we will encounter pain. We will continuously endure and try to avoid pain in our life and that he you know mr lickerman explains that it basically boils down to like four major points i suppose uh starting from the time you're born of obviously to the time you get sick and you die and then all along this way during your life you're trying to avoid pain people as my my client was explaining to me when she was explaining the book it's that people for instance, people who procrastinate, what do you do? You're avoiding that pain. Like I was told her, well, that makes sense. You know, the, whenever I have to pay my mortgage, I'm like, I avoid it to the last minute because I got to come up with that money because it's going to hurt. I got to write that check. Ah, so we're always trying to avoid being hurt. Or in the event of, you know, you see people who get into relationships all the time and they, they're always trying they're always have walls up and they're trying not to get hurt. So they only allow themselves to open up so much, which of course is damaging in a relationship because you have to open up a hundred percent easier said than done. Right? So in relation to fitness, we're, we're always trying to avoid getting hurt or we're avoiding failure or we're avoiding, uh, various types of pain. And we've been brought up this way since we were infants, where we were, we're in, it's, it's been hardwired into our brains to avoid getting hurt. And this is the belief system of the Nichiren Buddhist. 
But it, as Mr. Lickerman explains now, and we can tie this into fitness, is that there are, there are some major things you need to focus on in this particular belief system to overcome and become an undefeated mind, to not give in, and, and to inevitably be victorious. And to do so, you have to follow some particular protocols. Now, one of the major ones is your purpose. You have to have a purpose. A purpose. You gotta find out why you're doing what you're doing. And, and inevitably, our, our overwhelmingly major point of purpose in us all is to be happy. Now, I, I've been preaching my whole life that my inevitable purpose is to, is to help people. But really, by helping people, I'm being happy. See, you see. So, yes, your purpose is to inevitably be happy and to find your way of getting there. So, if you want to tie that into fitness, you have to make your particular purpose or goals... You have to establish them, as we've talked about before, so you can be happy. So you can achieve a level of fitness that you want, or a level of condition, or, or a particular event you're training for. So you need to find and, and determine a particular goal and purpose to inevitably, to inevitably be happy. It's, it's it's that simple. Now, again, in, in life in general, you, you have to find your purpose. You have, uh, my, again, my inevitable purpose, I feel, in this world is to devote my life to helping people be happy. And then I always joke around and I say that I'm going to die keeping them alive. <laughs> it's true. I lay down my life to make sure that I... I I'll put myself in the hospital. I'll work so hard just to get some people to there where they have to be and make them happy. So an another point that Mr. Lickerman gets into is that we're all going to be knocked down. We're all going to get kicked down on our butts. We're all going to have failure. We're going to fail. You inevitably have to understand that you will fail at particular things in your life. But that's a good thing. A good thing because you need to find your ability to get back up, kick off the dust, and keep pushing forward in fitness and in and, 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 and our particular go, uh, purpose of trying to get fit. You need to, you need to understand that the, the journey is not going to be an easy one. It, and it, as I've said before, it's not supposed to be easy, and it won't be an easy road. But you got to understand when things don't work, and things fail, or for, or God forbid you get injured or hurt, you have to find a way to get back up and keep moving on. Keep moving on. You you can't give in, because if you continuously give in when you achieve failure. And you will. You'll never move forward and be happy. You'll never achieve your purpose. It's that simple. It's not going to be easy. And believe it or not, failure is, as we've all been taught before as kids, is failure is an opportunity to learn. A mis there's no such thing as a mistake. A mistake is a learning opportunity so find the ability if you get if you do not achieve a level of you know, let's just use, use some simple simplistic examples like if you are trying to bench press a particular amount of weight and you you don't hit it you don't achieve it you go back into it until you can get it or you change around your workouts or you do whatever you have to do you reevaluate your 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 protocol, maybe you're not eating enough, maybe you're not eating enough protein, maybe you're not getting enough rest, maybe you're not getting it, 
enough sleep, you evaluate and you figure it out and you get back up. On the other end of the awful spectrum, if you end up getting injured, you look for ways around it. I have people who, uh, who as an example, who injured their ankle or knee. So rather than them give up and not come in and work out, I encourage them to come in and we'll just do upper body. We'll do a, we'll work around it. We'll do we'll work everything. We'll work the other leg if we have to. You find a way to move forward. And then uh, and that's awesome. And I uh, heard a guy on on YouTube recently. Ex he uh, used the description of being knocked down in Mr. Lickerman's example as. As being knocked down is the new awesome. I love it. I love that. And then, and I pro probably, honestly, I feel next to your mission, this particular point of encouragement is the most important one. Most people want to be believed in. You need, I, I would go out of my way to let people know that they can achieve and they I believe in them I know they can do it and I truly do you are all capable of achieving and you can do it if you want it you have to want it so you know uh, people need encouragement they don't necessarily need uh, and they don't need your uh, sometimes advice they don't you know uh, just like with the spouse, I see it a lot with spouses. I've talked about issues with an individual getting involved in working out and the loved one at home isn't isn't encouraging or just the opposite, they're discouraging. That's not a good support system. You need people who encourage you, people who believe in you. That's why you surround yourself with positive people and avoid negativity. And then, uh, you know, you need to be, you, first of all, with all that said, you yourself need to believe in yourself. So if I want to tie that into fitness, you must inevitably believe in your own self to be successful. So getting back as a recap is Mr. Lickerman's book, The Undefeated Mind, his, 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 the, a synopsis of, of it all would be that based on the, the belief system of the Nietzsche Ren Buddhist religion and, and, and their belief that our whole lives are devoted to the avoidance of pain, I personally feel you need to run towards pain. You need to run right at it full force. You need to go right into the storm and hit it head on. And, and, and that will inevitably, the more you do that, the more you, you, you avoid the avoidance, the, the more successful you will be. And then you need to find your purpose. And your, first of all, you need to identify your purpose is that inevitably you want to be happy. And to be happy, you have to find your own individual purpose. All right. And now tying into fitness, find your purpose or goal. All right. And then we're all, and another thing you need to know is we're all going to get, we're all going to get kicked on our butts. We're all going to fail. And you shouldn't want, you shouldn't go out of your way to fail, but you should understand and accept the fact that you, as hard as you are giving it your all, you will at times fail. But when that does happen, you must you absolutely must get back up and move forward and keep trying. Never, ever quit. And then another thing to know is that you need to change something bad that happens to you. Something bad, poison if you will. You need to change it into medicine. You need to flip the bad and make it a good thing. Look to the bright side of things. It's the old uh, adage, making uh, lem lemonade out of lemons. You need to take a bad thing and flip it and look to the bright side of things and use it and utilize it and make it a better thing for yourself. And in fitness, if, 
if if god forbid you end up say for example you end up getting injured on your legs you work your upper body you focus on upper body for a while while your lower body recuperates while you take time to eat cleaner use that particular time and clean up your diet and then again you need to be encouraging to your loved ones and your friends and people who are trying to achieve something really hard whether it be a personal thing or a physical thing or a business or social thing you need to be encouraging and avoid do not be negative give your absolute encouragement to that person so that's that and this is probably my longest video but i could really go on and on i really would like to talk more about it but i it's it's getting way too late here <laughs> so that's that. I really I recommend you go look for this guy's book on, uh, on either at the Barnes and Nobles or bookstore or go on iTunes. They have it on there. Dr. Alex Lickerman. And uh, his, the name of the book is The Undefeated Minds. And you can definitely tie that into your own particular lives in many, many ways. So run towards the pain. Be the bug that's flying towards the bug light and don't be afraid of getting zapped because the more you the, the more you get used to the, the, the zap of the bug light the less it's gonna hurt <laughs> all right everyone have a great weekend i'll talk to you all very soon please come back